Stay tuned. Arena next. Two teams converge, but only one will emerge. It's time to find out who's got the stuff of champions on another episode of Arena! Welcome to Arena, the show that turns multiplayer games into competitive sports. I'm Lee Rearman, and we've got two teams that are about to go to battle in pursuit of digital domination. Today, we'll get the adrenaline pumping on the console with Burnout 2, then move over to the PC with Unreal Tournament 2003. Finally, we'll wrap things up with America's Army Special Forces, which will be played on Atlantis Cyberspace's virtual reality pods. Before we get started, let's go to Kevin Pereira, who will explain the new law of Arena. Thank you very much, my xbox size buddy. Today on Arena, there are nine possible points to be won. The console game is worth a point, while each PC game is worth two. Now, the team with the highest accumulated score will also pick up a point, and the team with the MVP will rack up an additional three points. And those, my good citizens, are the new laws here on Arena. Now, let's check in with the lovely Stacy Barcelona for our player introductions. Stacy. On the last episode of Arena, Team Minority looked vulnerable after being dominated by Team Slapdash in the console game, but in true minority fashion, Unreal Tournament 2003, that was the turning point, as Slapdash couldn't even get one flag. Now, Minority never looked back, taking America's Army Special Forces and the overall victory, defending its crown. So today, Team Minority will go for a third straight win against new challenger, Team CTC. I'm a nationally ranked player in a lot of fun games. The reason why I actually joined Arena was when I first saw Arena, I was really disappointed in what they were showing. It's mediocre to good, but they're nothing amazing. So the people on the forums attacked me and decided, well, if you think they're not very good, then why don't you sign up yourself? Just recently turned 22 yesterday. I'm living over in the Valley, and I'm uh, attending DeVry University. I'm totally not an offensive player. I'd rather run into the fray and, you know, get my own thing on. Trying to get a degree in journalism. I do writing for websites, game reviews, stuff like that. Gotten plenty of hate mail for it. Love it. I'm just going to sit back and laugh at you. Outphase is actually a music like duo from a music game called Beat Mania 2DX. We go to a lot of different functions together. We've been to Anime Expo together. We just go arcade hopping together. Guys, sorry, but we're just going to take you to school. First person shooter gamer, I like to play capture flag as much as I can. I'm mostly offense, so I go for the flag or um, I cap as much as I can. I like to get objectives and go where enemies are. Video games, they're fun. They take me out of reality a little bit. I can have fun. Any gaming on TV, I want to be a part of. Uh, I'm more of a PC gamer and I, I like to run around with sniper rifle. Like, not camp, just blow people up. I play video games to pass the time. I'm on the show because of my buddy Cameron. He got me, he's like, one day, hey, you want to be on TV? I'm like, hell yeah. You want to play video games on TV? Like, oh, hell yeah. Um, one day, me and my friends were like sitting around and we were in a PC cafe and we were like, you know what, we should form a clan. And I was like, hey, why not minority? Well, well several other people will claim that they came up with it, but I was, it was me. I'm a hardcore gamer, defense and offense. I just love playing video games. I used to wake up in the mornings before school, play video games for a little bit. This is my mom called breakfast. Breakfast, school, back, play around with video games. Cameron's always getting new hookups with other games. It's really good at his house. All right, we're starting things off here in the console pit where all four players from each team will get a chance to make a difference as they'll each take a turn at the game. Today's game is Burnout 2 Point of Impact on the Xbox. Now this title is part racing game and part demolition derby, and it's completely insane. So let's get to the action in Burnout 2 Point of Impact. One. And first up, for CTC, will be crack prone in Burnout 2. Bam! Well, you said it best there, Emerald. Crack prone did not use his boost effectively that round. Chopper 5 swoops over the action. And an itemization of the damage. He's got an okay multiplier. Oh, terrible. 1,352,040 bucks in damage. And up for minority, it's Wild Arms. You know the rules. There ain't none. Using that boost to fly down the hill, lead right into oh. the taxi cab. Let's see if that'll jackknife and give him some decent multiplier here. He's got a multiplier of 5 for his bonus. For a total of 2.2 million for Wild Arms. Two. For CTC, change that channel. It's Fox. Initial impact is pretty spectacular, but from there, not a tremendous amount of, you know what, ancillary damage. That's right, Lee. Not a lot of speed going down that hill. Speed kills. Apparently not in this game. Even with the bonus, he's going to be under just shy oh. of a million dollars. And up for a minority will be zero limits. 
Here he goes. As he hits the back of a white SUV, will he make it <laughs> into the... He did not make it into oncoming traffic. But apparently with the bonus and with some of the damage assessment right out of the chute, Minority takes a second round. Three. They need to take the last two. They're down two to nothing. And up for CTC is RD. And into traffic he goes in spectacular fashion. Body parts flying. And with the echo effect of damage. Excellent bonus, Lee. A fantastic job by RD. And nearly $10 million in damage. And up for minority. Cool spot. The bar has been set very high. And he knows what he's doing, Lee, using the knife oh! on straightaways, backing off on the turns, giving him excellent accuracy as he slams the front end of that taxi. And he sent that semi oh! into another semi. And nothing gets me more moist than a little truck-on-truck -truck action, Lee. That's going to help the multiplier in the long run. But will it be enough, Lee? Not quite. Three and a half million, a good score by any other measure. Four. Round three goes to CTC. An out phase for CTC flies into traffic. A spectacular crash. And the echo effect here may add up. So there it is, $2.5 million for, for out phase. And magic stick for minority can take burnout two. With a score like that, it can pretty much just reach his hand out the window and bend his own antenna. That'll give him the win. Magic stick for team minority using that boost. Going downhill faster than a liquored up redneck stuffed inside of a Goodyear. Launches himself off of a car right into oncoming traffic. If he had hit that truck, the damage would have been much more spectacular. Unfortunately, for magic stick, it was not. Five. Going down the wire here in Burnout 2 League. And the tiebreaker underway, two rounds to two. RD for CTC. Again, aiming for that taxi. And gas prices go up yet again as that tanker goes out of control. Chopper 5 on the scene yet again. And a mediocre performance somewhat, just shy of $4 million in total damage. And for Minority, it'll be cool spot. This tiebreaker will determine the victor of the console round. Not letting up on that boost until he gets into the turn. Excellent strategy. It'll help him on accuracy. Oh. And he slams right into the semi, hopefully knocking it into that other lane of traffic, Lee. He's not going to make it. And there you have it, CTC. RD doing an excellent job. Well, the challenger CTC comes in here. Two rounds were down. Didn't look good, but RD got behind the wheel. Different story. That's right, Lee, and it would have been a completely different story had Minority paid attention to the row of buses in the background. Might have upped their point totals and given them the win. It took a tiebreaker, but RD won it, and right now he's with Stacy. Thanks, Lee. I'm down here with RD, who racked up nearly 9.5 million points for your team and won it in the tiebreaker round. How are you feeling? Pretty good, considering how random that game can be. Now, you know Team Minority defending their title, and uh, they always do poorly in the console round, yet they come back and dominate in the next two games. Are you a little nervous? Not worried at all, thanks to Fox and Outface. So he's got faith in his teammates. Lee, that's it from here. Back to you. All right, some pretty tough talk. Now, we know that you can crash and burn R&D, and you led your team to victory. But, of course, in Unreal Tournament 2003, that's a bad thing. And later, we'll cross enemy lines in America's Army Special Forces, which will be played on Atlantis Cyberspace's virtual reality pods. That's all coming up right here on Arena. Welcome back, everyone, to Arena. Now, before the break, Team CTC, the newcomer, came out with a bang, taking Burnout 2 in the console point. But as we all know, Team Minority has yet to be challenged in Unreal Tournament 2003. They kick ass. Can Minority humiliate yet another challenger? Let's go to Kevin in the PC ring. Kevin. Thank you very much, Lee. Now in Unreal Tournament 2003, we'll be playing Capture the Flag. Today's map is Phase 3, and it's one of UT's most popular Capture the Flag maps. A digital facelift has given this map an Egyptian feel with two large temples, and each base has multiple levels, offering plenty of good sniping spots and defensive positions. So let's get to the action in Unreal Tournament 2003. One. And round one of Unreal Tournament 2003 is underway. We've got CTC in red and Minority in blue. Cool spot wasting no time with that translocator. Lee already in the enemy base. Stay home. Keep that flag up. Cool spot for Minority. Grabs the flag, making his way back toward his base. Using that bounce pad to travel across the map in no time. Getting sniped. Dodges a little sniper rifle. Calls for some backup. Get up. And there's Crack Prawn up on top for CTC with an excellent, excellently placed shot. Get him. Takes down Cool Spot, but Cool Spot wastes no time teleporting right back, grabbing the flag again. And Crackpawn! again. Two in a row! He is deadly for that lightning gun. But there's Zoo Limits for Minority. Finally says, I've had enough of this. Sneaks outside, grabs the flag, and plants one. CTC showing fantastic defense, but down one to nothing. They need to show at least briefly some offense. And Cool Spot bounces his way across the map, hoping to widen the lead here late in round one. And Cool Spot is safely within his base's walls as he goes up to plant an Etherly. With a two nothing win, Minority takes round one. Woo! And there's that minority hip gyration that drives you wildly. Two. And round two is underway here at Unreal Tournament 2003. Red flag taken. I got the flag. 
and cool spot with the flag already. Out phase translocating around the rear of the base, using the lift to get a beat up top on the inside. And out phase hops down, grabs the flag, but runs into two members of Team Minority. Victor, where are you, man? Taking some flak fire, Lee. Oh, and he goes down on the outside. And cool spot moving into score. Woo, baby, woo! Red flag taken. It's gonna hurt. Oh. Magic Stick jumps down, hits the bounce pad, takes zero damage. Yeah. And he's already halfway across the map before anybody can even realize their flag is gone. And Magic Stick for Minority just walks right into the front door. And once again, two to nothing. Out phase for CTC within the enemy's nest. And two members of CTC in the base. One already down doing the slow motion death. And Crackcron up top with well-placed snipers. And these CTC team members, as Magic Stick grabs a flag yet again, seem very aggressive here at Unreal Tournament 2003. Here's something new, Lee. Out phase with the flag as he runs out the front door, dodging some rocket fire. And where's RD with the defense? And down he goes, does out phase with CTC. As Cool Spot makes his way toward base, if round two begins to wind down. Two members of minorities uh, there to defend the flag, and Fox grabs it momentarily. The flag bearers are in a battle, Lee, and Fox, with a wise decision, retreats up top, grabs some health, and he is frantically looking for an exit. Fox, follow the ringing phone, buddy. Using the bounce pad to jump across, and he runs into a member of minority, but a teammate's there to back him up. Excellent teamwork. I believe that was RD. And he goes down, which leaves Cool Spots to score that last flag capture. Flawless victory. Three to nothing. Three. And Unreal Tournament 2003, round number three. Cool Spot wasting no time. Oh, no. Scores the flag capture. One to nothing, minority here. Cool Spot for minority using that translocator to make his way down in no time. Crackron for CTC takes down one member of Minority and then gets taken out himself. Still no offense to speak up for CTC. Well, there's out phase for CTC deep within the enemy's base. Go, go. He's got two members of Minority to deal with. Out phase backing up his friend as for CTC as Fox runs out of the base with the flag, picks up some health. Out phase in hot pursuit. Again, it's still one to nothing Minority ahead here in round three. And down he goes. As Fox goes down in zero limits, doing an excellent job. It's still one to nothing, Lee. The time where it runs down here in round three. All this heading into the big finale in America. His army as Outphase grabs a flag for CTC, but perhaps too little, too late. Well, he's got enough time. If he hurries, Lee, he can make it back. He missed the bounce pad. That's going to hurt him. As he runs face first into a rocket, Magic Stick roams up top with the enemy's flag in hand. I think that's going to hurt. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, he misses the bounce pad. And look at that. CTC unable to even respawn in time to return their own flag. Come on, come on. I'm not going to make it. Cool spot, bouncing across the map. Crack Cron in hot pursuit of Minority's flag, picks it up. He's under heavy fire using that lightning gun, mows down a member of Minority. Two. Minority takes all three rounds and continues their domination. Good game, guys. Woo! All right, Kevin, the tension is building here in the arena. CTC, the newcomer, came in and took the console game, but as advertised, domination by Minority in UT 2003. That's rightly sounding like a broken record yet again. Minority pulled out the points when it mattered. Cool spot and magic stick. Excellent teamwork, guys. And excellent teamwork is what we're going to get right now with Stacy and Cool Spot. Thanks, Lee. I am here with Cool Spot, who had four flag captures for his team. Now tell me, what did you do differently this time? Well, when we made the first capture, we put two on D instead of the usual three after the first cap, and we put the last person on midfield. This really helped out because he was able to take out both the offense coming in and leaving when they had our flag. That really, really put in some points for us. Lee, back to you. Thank you, Stacey, and congrats to you, Cool Spot, but don't go anywhere because your day's not over. Now, in football, they say defense wins games. Apparently, somebody forgot to tell CTC it's a football, it's arena, that they were satisfied mostly just defending their own flag, but they didn't score any points to chalk up another UT 2003 win for a minority. Now, when we come back, we'll drop both teams behind enemy lines in America's Army Special Forces. It's where today's winner will be determined. That's coming up only on Arena. Welcome back, everyone, to Arena. Before the break, Team Minority Stick True to Form and decimated all comers in Unreal Tournament 2003 as they have yet to give up a flag and get this three matches. But there's more to this show than just ET 2003, namely America's Army Special Forces, which we played on Atlanta Cyberspace's VR pods. So let's throw it over to Sergeant Hanson for the briefing on today's mission. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm Sergeant First Class Hanson. I'm here to brief you on the combat search and rescue mission. Our current situation, we have one Black Hawk helicopter that's been downed by enemy forces. A UAV has identified one crew member as surviving the crash. Your mission as an ODA, Operational Detachment, is to infiltrate this high desert compound to the crash site. At the crash site, you're to retrieve data and destroy the helicopter. Then you're to continue on through the remainder of the compound, make link up with the downed crew member. You are not to fire upon anyone unless they prove themselves hostile to your mission. 
Are there any questions? No, no sir. sir. Good luck. All right, Team Minority was chosen to go first, and the team is suiting up right now. And once these virtual soldiers are ready, they'll have 10 minutes to complete the mission. Now, our players will be immersed in the ultra-realistic environment of America's Army Special Forces through the use of Atlantis Cyberspace's VR pods. Well, it looks like Team Minority is in position, so let's see how they do in America's Army Special Forces. And Minority, our reigning champion here in Arena, first up, cool spot the captain. Once again, leading Magic Stick, Zero Limits, and Wild Arms to the down Blackhawk to meet their objectives. It is to find the Blackhawk, extract the data, disable the Blackhawk, find the pilot, and have a nice afternoon lunch at a beach somewhere. All right, I go first, I go point. Excellent communication amongst the team, and Magic Stick doing an excellent job providing cover for his teammate. Zero Limits not caught off guard at all, opens fire right away and takes down a member of the opposing force. As more shots are ringing out, and all four team members now outside. Cameron, I want you to move forward. Me and Hawk have cover fire. And a grenade has been thrown, Lee. Magic Stick comes around the corner, throws a frag grenade. Cool Spot launches an RPG under the cover of that smoke grenade. And notice Minority, the seasoned vets, very aware of the time constraints, Lee. Coming up on the halfway point. All right, check your backs. Oh, I'm reloading. Magic Stick peeks his head out into the doorway, and it looks like they have a member of their team at the Blackhawk. No, Lee, that's a member of the opposing force at the Blackhawk. They do an excellent job of taking him out and clearing the path to the Blackhawk. RPG it! RPG it! No, no, not yet! You oh, yeah. Data. And someone's RPG happy as Team Minority has to talk him down. Magic Stick covering wild arms. The data has been retrieved, and now it's... Clear! 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 Hey, blown up. The only thing that remains is to find that pilot. Dude, where's my VIP? Says Cool Spot as he leads his team into the same exact buildings they were in just five minutes ago. Unless something happens in the next few seconds, Nori's gonna run out of time. Magic Stick throws a grenade into the fray. I got a bogey! Ah, oh, bogey behind! And down goes Wild Arms, first casualty for Team Minority. And now the team has decided to say, screw checking for cover. Zero Limits taking a little fire as he turns around. We're under a minute. Zero Limits and a member of the opposing force going head to head, and Zero Limits takes him down. And Team Minority has always given up on trying to find that pilot, apparently, and now it's just looking to take out the remaining bad guys, earning points for the MVP. Zero Limits is in the room with the VIP, takes out a member of the opposing force, and in the last few seconds of America's army. And Team Minority once again shows why they are our champions. In good times and bad, they never gave up, achieved all the objectives. That's right, Lee, but later on in the match, we saw time did become a factor. They stopped checking for members of the opposing force, and unfortunately, they lost a teammate. Next up, the challenger, Team CTC. And CTC starts their attempt with the bar being set pretty high by Team Minority, Kevin. Right off the bat, Team CTC running right into open fire. No strategy whatsoever, Lee. I think the team members of CTC are just trying to not only feel out the map, but each other as well. And RD and Friend are bunched up in the doorway as Crackcron runs right out into the open. His back is exposed to a window. Oh, and from behind, Crackcron, RD, everybody getting shot at, Lee. That's what happens when you just run through the map. And this is potentially turning ugly here for Team CTC. And a complete lack of communication and strategy, Lee, as the team is slowly falling apart here early in the round. Crackcron has found the Blackhawk helicopter. Is attempting, I assume, to extract the sensitive data. And Fox throws a smoke grenade, giving himself some cover and leaving Crackcron out to dry. Apparently, Crackcron has extracted the data, though, Lee. And as he switches out to a grenade and takes aim on the Blackhawk, fire ringing out from all over. I'm shocked we haven't seen any casualties the way that this team is playing. And a well-placed frag grenade explodes the Blackhawk. Crackcron, in a dying act, blew up the helicopter. RD and Outface attempting to find that helicopter pilot. Two of the three major objectives have been accomplished. However, they lost their captain, and bad guys still abound, Kevin. You take the right, I take the left, all right? Hold on, we'll be flashing. And finally, I hear an ounce of strategy coming out of this team league as RD says, hold on a minute, Chuck the flashbang. Oh, behind us, behind us. Apparently in the wrong direction, as there is an enemy right behind him. Go, go, smoke. Pathetic though it may be, Lee, at this point, this team is on par with Minority's performance. If they can locate that helicopter pilot, they may have a chance. And it looks like they have found the VIP. Behind you, behind you! Oh, and Fox does a poor job of covering his teammate as three members of the opposing force walk into the room G-Unit style and light this team up like 50 Cent at a concert. And another exciting climax here on Arena as we add to the slew of well-matched teams we've had here lately. As once again, the winner was decided with America's Army Special Forces. Now, while Team CTC made some rookie mistakes and lost three team members, they were still able to hang in there, meet their objectives, and finish the mission. That's right, Lee. And third time appears to be the charm for Team Minority as they finally 
complete a mission without shooting each other, which helped them snatch two points in America's Army Special Forces. Now, early in Unreal Tournament 2003, Team Minority put on another clinic, keeping Team CTC from snagging a single flag for two more points. That's right, and the only surprise was in our console game, Burnout 2, where CTC ran away with that point. And with wins in both the PC game and the VR pods, and the bonus point for the highest accumulated overall team score, Team Minori makes it a three-peat, winning a third match in a row, pulling out the victory at America's Army Special Forces the last second, and taking home the MVP is... Minority Zero Limits! Yes! Let's go to Zero Limits and his winning teammates with Stacy. Thanks, Lee. I'm here with Zero Limits of Team Minority. How are you feeling about your third arena victory? Totally psyched. It's um, unbelievable that we actually got this far. Uh, wow, we just really pulled through on that last one, and uh, it was just exciting. Just very excited. <laughs> but you, you sound excited. I got to ask you, America's Army, you managed to pull through for your team. You were the last survivor, and you completed the mission. Yeah, um, we started out real strong like we always do and then uh, kind of fell apart after that. Lost two guys very quickly and then the third went with them. I'm dead. And then it was just me with seconds to go on the clock and I just had to pull through or we were going to go down and I just pulled it. You, you did pull through for your team. What do you have to say to the next team who tries to beat Yon Arena? You're next. You're next. Lee, back to you. Thank you, Stacy. And congratulations to you guys. Now, the more things change, the more they stay the same as Team Minority inches ever closer to Arena's vaunted Hall of Champions with its third win. But tune into our next episode where they'll try to make it four straight wins. For Kevin Pereira, Stacey Barcelona, I'm Lee Rearman. We'll see you next time on Arena. Well, now that you've seen the competition, we want to see if you've got the stuff of champions. So if you're at least 18 years of age and live in or near the Los Angeles area, then throw your hat into the ring by going to our website. Visit us at g4tv.com slash arena and sign up to compete on the show that turns multiplayer video games into a competitive sport. And we will see you in the arena.